In this video will be explained exactly what happens in your body when you ejaculate sperm. When you have sexual intercourse or some kind of sexual stimulation, your body sends impulses in the spinal cord and in brain. And when you reach the climax of sexual stimulation, those signals will be sent to a part of the spinal cord called ejaculation center. So, ejaculation is actually a reflex, and it's not something you can control yourself. Ejaculation has two phases, emission and expulsion. In the emission phase, it happens that vas deferens, as well as seminal vesicles, start to contracting themselves and sending the semen fluids towards the base of the penis or prostate. The part of the urethra called internal urethra, expands in two to three times, and this is the point of no return in terms of achieving sexual climax. Men can describe this as a feeling of the upcoming orgasms, and can't do anything to stop it. Then comes the explosion phase. Explosion phase is the phase when the liquid is squeezed out and it demands bladder neck muscles, also urethra muscles, as well as the pelvic floor muscles to contract rhythmically and to help semen to go out. The first thing that happens is that the bladder neck and internal sphincter are closing themselves, so that sperm don't go backwards in bladder. But to move forward from urethra and out of the penis, also the external urethral sphincter begins to relax to allow to push the sperm forward. And the muscle around the bulbar urethra is called bulbocavernosis muscle, and it is the main muscle that helps move sperm out of the penis.